Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MathTube. In this video, we start learning problems based on testing of hypothesis. And before we start, take a look at this flowchart. So, the first thing we are going to learn is single mean testing. That means, in our question, we will be discussing exactly one parameter, the behavior of one parameter. And the single mean testing is also classified into large and small. Now look at this. Here also the word small comes, but something very important is marked here. Small, but the sample is taken from a normal population. Now look at this, large sample and small taken from normal will be treated alike and then comes small sample and finally single proportion testing. Anyway, let's start. In the last video, I told you the five steps for testing of procedure and I added one step, step number zero. I hope you remember. If you don't remember, just pause the video right now and watch the procedure for testing of hypothesis. Anyway, step number zero is read the question at least three times so that you are able to extract information from the question properly. Okay, so we have a fast food joint and they claim they will be always able to complete the order within 10 minutes after the order is placed. So, someone is suspicious about their claim. And what did that person do? He collected data from 100 random customers. Now, I can note one point. The sample size of this experiment is large. Do you remember large and small? The number greater than 30? Yeah, okay. And yeah, average. So, he checked the sample average and that is 10.13 minutes. If the standard deviation in general is 30 seconds, and we should write everything in the same unit. So, I will write standard deviation is equal to and they are talking in general. So, it is a population standard deviation and 30 seconds means half a minute that will be 0.5 minutes then test at 5 percentage significance. So, they have given the risk level to be 5 percentage. Okay, it's right about his suspicion. Okay, so uh, the first thing to do is you read the question at least 3 times and then let's write step number 1. So, what is step number 1? Yeah, setting up hypothesis. So, you write null hypothesis H0 and alternative hypothesis H1 and now look at this we are talking about time and I told you null hypothesis will be the proposed value. So, the company has proposed I mean the foot fast join has proposed that they can place any order within, what do you mean by within? Yeah, less than or equal to 10 minutes. So, the alternative hypothesis, if someone is suspicious about it, look at this, one person claims that they can do the delivery within 10 minutes and another person is suspicious about this claim. So, what might be his suspicion? What is he doubting about? Of course, the delivery time will be more than 10. Now, look at this. Once you write H1, you should write something in bracket. That is, is it two-tailed or single-tailed or to be specific in single-tail, is it right-tail or left-tail? Now, look at this. If you see not equal to, we write two-tail. And if you see greater than, we write right-tail and less than means left tail. So, I see greater than in the alternative hypothesis. So, I am going to write right tailed test. Okay. 
Now, one more very important thing. In two-tailed test, we should always use alpha by 2. Okay. Now, we, do, we are done with step number 1. Let's move on to step number 2. Step number 2 is the most easiest step. In step number 2, you are supposed to discuss about the confidence and significance. So, it is given that um, the significance level is 5%. So, the confidence will be 95%. Anyway, please write level of significance alpha equal to 5%. And once more, I will tell you if it is a two tailed test, then we will use alpha by 2 instead of alpha. Now comes step number 3. Oh, I put step 1. Let's make it 2. Yeah. Now comes step number 3, the most important one. So let's go back and check the map. Now look at this. This is single mean testing. The reason is we are talking about only one parameter that is time. And now the second thing I already noted from the question n is 100 so it is large and for this the test statistic you have to buy heart set calculated equal to x bar minus mu naught by sigma by root n. So remember for large sample set calculated is equal to x bar minus mu naught by sigma by root n. Now remember small sample but if the small sample is taken from a normal population that is if it is guaranteed the samples are taken from a normal population then also use the same formula. At the same time if this was single mean testing but for small sample then we will be using something called the t distribution we'll use t calculator and in single proportion yeah in proportion the sample will be always kept large so it will be again set calculated but the formula is different that we will check in the next video okay so look at this it's a large sample so i'm going to write set calculated is equal to um, x bar minus mu naught this mu naught means the proposed value the right side of H0 and that is equal to 10.13 minus 10 the whole divided by 0 0.5 by root under 100. I hope you are okay with the values. Look at this, the sample mean, the proposed value and standard deviation and sample size. So, you can use the calculator and write it. So, set calculated equal to, I got 2.6. Now, put this in a box. You will be searching for this value in step number 5. So, put it in a box. So, that is step number 4. And step number 4 means we need your tables. We still have the statistical tables. So, let's find modulus of said tabulated. That means the tabled value. And that will be modulus of said alpha. And if it is two-tailed, don't forget it will be alpha by two. And we already decided it is five percentage. And that will be 0 0.05. And you know how to find this value. We had been doing the same thing in confidence intervals, in central limit theorem, in normal distribution, etc. Anyway, for your benefit, let's check it out. So, let's check out the table. Um, 0 0.05. Actually, it's a standard value. Um, I'll magnify that for you. There are two methods. You can, because it's marked star, it's a standard value. And... That value is in between this and this. So, if you mark the star, just follow the arrow, you'll find the value. So, the value to this side is 1.6. And if you look at the value on the top,
can see that it's between 4 and 5. So the answer is 1.645. Of course, negative, but we are taking modulus. So the answer is 1.645. Okay, now what we do is, if you watch the last video, you'll understand. Next, we make a rough graph. And in the rough graph, we will mark this value. It's called the critical value. It will decide the acceptance part and rejection part of the test. So I'm going to mark the value here. It is 1.645. And remember, we will always mark uh, reject on the tail of the graph. If it was left tailed, I'll mark the same thing on the left and I'll write reject on this tail. And if it is two tail, you have to mark on both sides. Anyway, the remaining part is accept. Okay, that's it now. Just one more step. That is step number five. Step number five is decision. So, we will take this value, the calculated value, 2.6. 2.6, look at this, this is the origin. So, 1.645. 2.6 is clearly here. That means, uh, you write like this, since Z calculated equal to 2.6 lies in the rejection region, we reject H0. Now remember, uh, if you reject H0, that simply implies we accept, that is, we accept H1. And what is that H1? H1 means, yeah, yeah, they take more than 10 minutes. So, we are right. We are 95% confident that the food enthusiast is right about his suspicion. So, don't forget this flowchart. So, we are doing single mean testing and that also large sample or small sample taken from normal population. Uh, you have to be aware of this. Small is different. Small from normal is different. This large and small from normal are treated alike. Same formula set calculated equal to x bar minus mu naught by sigma by root n. So with this I will wind up this video. And I'll be back with the next video in which we'll be going through problems based on small sample and single proportion, etc., etc. So till then, bye.